What's up guys? Coming at you from www.12volt.solutions. We're working on a 2017 F-150. Um, as you saw, it's an XL model. So uh, what we got going on is we're gonna show you two new products today. First one is going to be the um, new horn honk elimination plug and play kit for the Ford vehicles. Um, which will work on the F-150, the Fusion, the Edge, and uh, Explorer, as well as a, uh, the Super Duty. So what we got is our T-Harness here. It's 100% plug and play. It takes literally two minutes to install. Obviously this video is gonna be a little bit longer since I'm gonna explain it and then uh, go through the process and show you exactly what you need to do. So T-Harness module um, and two little jumper wires here. Super straightforward. Um, you got instructions step by step. Uh, you got zip ties. The instruction instructions can also be found on the website. So this is my prototype harness. It, it, you, the one you get might vary a little bit, but the instructions will um, basically reflect whatever harness that we have. So the the new one's going to be exactly like this. However, we might label one and two. Um, or we might have mismatched colors, which I kind of like better. So it just kind of makes everything a little bit easier that way. So anyway, um, the other product, <laughs> I'm super excited about this. Check this out. Check this out. This case, pretty legit, right? No, not really. Um, so this is a programmer. It enables your, uh, it plugs into your OBD2 connector. Boom. Turn the ignition on, wait for some lights. Bam, done. What it does is it activates the remote start features in the cluster here. So you can adjust uh, runtime, you can adjust um, heated seats, defrost, uh, heated mirrors, I think, or no, steering wheel. Um, basically, it depends what your vehicle's equipped with, but you know, along the lines of that kind of stuff, it's gonna give you the options for it. Um, our other kit that you press lock, 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 um, People call it the horn honk kit or whatever, you know, but it, it automatically activates those settings. This one does not. So we developed a programmer that you can rent from us. Uh, a deposit's required. We'll refund the deposit when we get the unit back. Uh, since there's no, you're going to use it one time. There's no sense in, you know, making people buy it. So um, we're going to have a, a fleet of those little suckers and then um, we'll just rent them out. People can do their thing and send it back. Okay, so we're gonna show you. Like I said, 17 F-150 we got. Um, obviously, it's an XL, so it's got a key. It's no push button. Um, our OBD2 connector is this one right here. This one actually has two. Uh, <laughs> it has this right here. This vehicle's been converted to natural gas, so this is the programmer for it. I'm gonna push it out of the way for a second so I can show you this install, but um, I'm gonna put it back, obviously, when I'm done. So. Behind the OBD2 connector, there is a little oblong looking 24 pin plug. Let me get you positioned here real quick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our harness, we're gonna plug in the female end into the male connector, the one we unplugged. So here's our factory, here's our male, plug it in. Hear the click, good. Okay, so on this one, um, first, if you have mismatched wires, we're going to plug those in first. Our end result is going to be wire colors are going to match like this, if you can see. So these are orange brown. They're going to match orange brown. Step number one, plug in the mismatched colors. Or if they're labeled one and two, connect it to number one. So right now we have blue and yellow goes to orange brown. Uh, make sure that the power wire is or connector is unplugged from the module. So the white connector, it can stay in. No need to unplug it. The three pin black one, uh, leave it unplugged because we need to watch what this light does when we turn the ignition on. All right, so power connector's undone. Um, our jumper number one is plugged in. And now we're gonna take the mail and plug it back into where we unplugged the factory one on the back of the connector. Now make sure you just push it in there it fits perfect just make sure you get a good connection um, so we're in modules hooked up jumpers hooked up so we're gonna plug in power okay so 
I'm gonna go through these instructions with you so you can kind of, uh, instead of just doing it real quick, that way you, you'll know. Okay, so everything's hooked up. Step number one is, well, we've already done step number one. So we're gonna turn the ignition on. The light is gonna blink red, and then it's gonna blink green one time, and then it's gonna go back to solid red. And then when it's at solid red, we turn the ignition off. So we got the key. I'm gonna stick it up here. I'm gonna hold the module so you can see it. Okay, so red, green, red. So the light's off, ignition's on. There's red, green, goes right back to red. Turn it off, light goes out. At this time, take this jumper, unplug it from the first set, plug it into the second, just like that. And then our steps are turn the ignition back on, the light's gonna come on red, the light's gonna flash green rapidly, and then wait for the light to come on green for two seconds. So here's our light, it's off, ignition is on, and this step can take five seconds or so. I think it flashes red and then right before it goes solid green. So just be patient, it's programming everything to the car. So there's red and then there's our green for two seconds. And then it's out and then we're done. So turn the key off, that puppy's done. Um, now on the key, we're gonna hit lock, unlock, lock. Oops, here we go. So lock, unlock, lock. And you didn't see it, but it flashed red and then it's flashing green to let us know that the remote start is active. And obviously there was no horn honk. And the vehicle's locked because the lock button is the last one we pushed. And there it is. Uh, it'll run for 15 minutes. You can turn it off by hitting lock, unlock, lock. Or if you get in and hit the brake without putting the key in, that will also kill it. Um, we had the runtime set for 25 minutes. I don't know, people, they said it was too long, so now they come preset 15. If you want longer, just let me know and I'll program it longer. Um, like I said, this one does not activate the remote start features in the cluster. So the way the climate control works on this is it's basically going to heat and cool your truck or car to 70 degrees. If it's hot out, it's gonna cool it down to 70. If it's cool out, it's gonna heat it to 70. If you have heated seats and heated mirrors and defrost and all that jazz, if it's super cold out and it's heating to 70, it's gonna kick on the heated seats. If it's moderate temperature, I don't know what they consider moderate, give or take 70 degrees, but it's not gonna turn on heated seats or anything. So I guess it's only in extreme weather. But um, like I said, our programmer, which I'm gonna end this video here in a second and I will make a sh shoot, shoot a video for that. It will allow you to make those adjustments, um, the climate control and then the, you can set the runtime if you want to um, on, the, uh, on the cluster as well. So thanks for watching. I'm going to button this thing up and then I'm gonna put the programmer in here and make another video. So uh, you, I'll put the link, I've always wanna do that. I'll put the link below <laughs> for the uh, programmer and then um, a link to our website where you can purchase this kit too. Um, this one will be for the F-150 if you want it and need it for the Fusion or some other vehicles um, it'll get you in the ballpark and then you just select your vehicle my man. So thanks guys for watching and we will uh, shoot another video here in a second.